What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Andy the Middle-Aged Gamer and this is the unboxing video for the Maruyama B&T SPC9 Gas Blowback PCC. Yes, you heard me right. This is gonna be a good one. So while I stick the usual disclosures on screen now, you guys grab a drink and get comfy and let's jump in. Okay, so while I cut this box open, let's do what we always do. Let's give you guys a bit of context. About a year and a half ago, you saw me do the unboxing and review of the Maruyama SCW9K Pro, which is the Glock edition of it. And yeah, it was absolutely awesome. It was Maruyama's very first, I would say, foray into the gas blowback market. And it did really, really well. I actually enjoyed it. And comparing it to the Archwick one, I would actually recommend the Maruyama over the Archwick, not because it's got better materials or anything, it just does what it's supposed to do, a lot more cost effective and efficiently. And now that there's so many parts available and so on, it's amazing. So, now that we've got that, let's have a look. Right, so the ending here, we turn it on its side. We can open here. But uh, yeah. It was awesome. Now, with regards to the SPC-9, obviously everyone's gonna say, well, what is it? If it's not the APC, which it's not, then what is it? Well, quite, quite simply, the SPC-9 is basically a, a result of a military slash law enforcement organization going up to Carl Brueger at BNC and saying, hey, we like the APC-9, but we like AR-15s, can you do something about it? And of course, Carl Brueger loves 9mm, I would say, PCCs, or whatever you want to call it, anything 9mm. So, he's like, yep, let's see what we can do. And, just let everything out here. Let's double check. Yep, so let's yeet that out the way. Let's get that out the way. And, yeah, so he set about the task. And he based this off the APC-9, but obviously changed everything else so let's take a look at how he did it what he did and so on in the real steel world this is available in three flavors you have the pcc in its i would say non-tax stamp needed uh 16 inch and then you have the sbr which this is the sbr variant and on top of that they did the pdw variant which comes obviously with the um marksman oh no marksman, was it maxim nine uh, PDW stock, which as we can all agree now, it's a bit overrated. It looks cool, but functionally, the the whole stock system, you're only saving an inch. It's not worth it. I'd rather have the length of pull um, than I would the more compact. Again, depending on what use, but for airsoft, I'd rather have the length of pull, a nice shoulder stock that I can enjoy. So you have that, and then the final variant is the SD variant of it. But in Airsoft, this is the only SPC gas blowback on the market, so awesome. And of course, Maruyama doing what they do best. So let's start with the main event, as always. Usual Allen key adjustment, some Action Airsoft a speed loader, the usual thing. They don't give you instruction manuals. It seems VSC are getting away from giving people the instruction manuals. Especially in their uh, manufacturing for the companies or their shell company builds, as we say. So let's go. I do like the weight though, that's for sure. So here we go. And again, it's like past the parcel with the shrink wrap, which is awesome. I love what you guys were commenting in the in the comments of my AK. That was awesome. You guys are amazing. Well, that's cool. Now, in order to save some money, Maruyama did just kind of put a generic CAR-15 stock on the end of it. But because this is a M4 mil spec buffer tube, you can put any stock you want. And I'm obviously going to do so. And I have one on order right now. So for the full review, you'll see that be changed. Ooh. Now, there are companies, if you do order this from Asia, there are companies out there that are willing to put the all the trades on it, with it being Maruyama. They don't have all the trades. It had most of it on it, as you can see. We've got the SPC engraved in, so all that's there. 
It's just the actual legal bit, the B&T bits that they change. Come on. Near the end now. But uh, yeah, awesome. So we can uh, yeet that shrink wrap. And here she is, the SPC9. Now, your hop is here. If you notice, this is very similar to the Marksman 9. And inside the bolt carrier here is the Marksman 9, 9mm bolt carrier assembly. So that's good. You do have a uh, Bravo Company USA style charging handle because in the real one it is a Bravo Company USA BNT. Put that in. It is fully ambidextrous. This is the Pro, how would you say, fire control group. It's nice, positive. So you can go down and then all the way around to very fast semi. Your hop is, like I say, there. And yeah, that's nice. That's a six inch handguard on here. Oop, so I knocked the camera over. So six inch handguard. And you have a six and a half inch barrel here, which is nice and threaded. 14 millimeter CCW, which allows you to put any muzzle device on there that you wish. But right now it comes with the Trilug H&K style muzzle device. You do get your QD mount at the front here, which is awesome. There is a QD mount there in the bottom here, which will take all the plastic off. Like I say, that's nice. So, I'm going to do that. Hold. So we can hold this open, usually from the other side. Yep, there he goes. Everything is so new. Wait, if you hold it there. Dunk. You can see nothing will hold back because it needs to be lubed. But yes, mag release here for Ambi. Ambi on that side. Ambi controls. Which is awesome. And you can also charge it from the front if you wish. And lock it home, which is nice. You can switch this over to the other side. It is cut out for that. It is rotational. If you're a lefty, you've got your charging handle just in case. And yeah, if you don't like this grip, you can always swap this one out. There's no play or anything, which is good. This looks awesome. Let's check the magazine out, shall we? So, as always, cool packaging. Now this is kind of cool. You know my guy's feelings when it comes to putting stickers on the inside, these translucent ones. You can see here, this will allow you to see your BBs. You will see the white dots going down as you fill it up. You do get the stickers on the side, but you also get them on the back. And if you look, it makes the rounds go up and it looks like the knocker valve is your next round up, which is kind of cool. I do like the way that they've done that. Giving it full 360. These are 45 round magazines, so that's good. You fill from the bottom, and they are based off of the KWA mags. So you do have the little feeder here. So that's awesome. Whether it fits KWA, we are going to be testing that at some point for the full review. So yeah, how about we get some gas and some BBs in here and let's test her out on the range. Okay, 
So if you've gotten this far in the video and you like what you see, but you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and like button. That way you stay notified whenever I upload a new video and it really helps this video out with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to help the channel out a little bit more, you can always consider using the YouTube thanks button. Doing that allows you to donate to the channel and it goes a massive way to putting bigger and better weapons on the table for you guys. So you guys don't have to go out there and waste your money on them. And in that respect, like I say, a huge thank you in advance. Now, as to this, it has a very snappy recoil. It's nice. It's not too subtle. It's just a decent amount of recoil. In fact, I think it's a slightly more than the Marksman 9. And that's a little bit crazy. But like I say, it's one of those. One thing I will want against straight away is I did drop my mag. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a chip here at the top corner. It's not stopped any feed or function. It works perfectly fine. I did order a second one with it. And I have got several more on the way. Now, of course, like I say, I do love this design. I like everything that, like I say, you can drop the hammer. And even though the hammer is dropped, you can still flick it to safe and lock the trigger, which is great. And that's something that B&T came up with, with the APC-9 originally. And they were one of the first, if not the first, to do it. So that's cool. I do like that it accepts any AR-15 charging handle in here. So if you don't like the, the Bravo company, you can swap it out. It will fit any stocks. Inside here is your buffer and spring, just like an AR, but there is kind of like a simulated hydraulic buffer in there that they put in. It's kind of cool what they've done. Um, we'll show you that when we crack this bad boy open. But yes, you do go. Do you have your mop extractor here? Or ejector, should I say. And yeah, everything is just awesome. It's just well built. I do like the QD sling points at the bottom as well as on the top, so you can choose. I do... Like the M-Lock slots, everything feels good. And the TDC is a massive improvement, as they say. And you can see there your detent in that, which is what holds this non-reciprocating charging handle at the front. So that's good. But yeah, they've really done a massive job at making this amazing. And like I say, the only difference between this and the real one would be um, B&T uh, Swiss made here, or B&T SPC9, uh, or SPC, and then it would have Swiss made there. On the other side, it'd have the Swiss cross on here, but that's about it. And to be honest, I can live without them. And if I want them, I can get them added. I do, like I say, believe that there are some Asian sites out there selling this with the trades where they've gone and done it, but there is another two to three week lead time while they do that. It's up to you. I don't go running around saying, look at me. I go, hey, cool gun, right? Enjoy it, you know? And of course, you have got the SPC written uh, in there, uh, properly stamped in to the actual upper receiver, which, like I say, is uh, CNC finished aluminium, CNC um, finished handguard, polymer lower, just like the APC-9. And yeah, it's just awesome. Absolute amazing so far. Okay, so if you like this video, then let me know in the comments down below. As always, I look forward to reading them. And I am being Andy, the middle-aged gamer, and you guys have been absolutely amazing. And I'll see you in the next one.